Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team. Are we going to have a promo today? What's going to happen today? I want to talk about it because basically we're at the end of Foot Birthday. The two-week promo uh, that has, you know, brought some decent hype to this game, especially with week one. Um, you know, some solid SBCs, some solid content, some good pack pulls for many of you guys out there, and just some really cool cards that we can use is now coming to a close. What is gonna happen today? It doesn't look like we're getting a new promo, so I wanna talk about the answer to that question. And that that question, the answer to that question, um, is based upon this code that was dropped into the game um, a couple hours ago. And I'm gonna show you guys that the market impact from this code, you know, people are getting smart. They, they know that these SBCs, a, a guaranteed foot birthday player, the types of SPCs have so much hype that they drive the market crazy and you can see what that EA knows that as well as we look at this pack code we're basically getting the foot birthday party bag SBC again we're going to be getting that SBC again and it's also going to be coming out with an 86 plus rated rare player and that is this basically this is what EA is doing, right? They're dropping an SBC that they dropped earlier this week, which instead of it just being a foot birthday player from set one, it's now going to be a foot birthday player from both sets. So I said earlier this week, I could see this SBC being re-released again. Now, I, you know, I thought it would have come on Thursday, but it looks like it's coming today. And this is kind of our, our Friday content, I guess you could say, uh, is this player SBC. So again, this is just like the foot birthday party bag from before with a foot birthday shapeshifters or winter refresh card going to be in the pack. And it's going to be a guaranteed player pack again. Uh, I would expect that it's probably going to be the same, the same cost, which what it was an 86 rated team with a team of the week moments, I think is what you needed for the first SBC. I would expect that again uh, for today's SBC. But you can see here that EA Sports is trying to maybe stop a little bit of the rise in the market uh, with a 86 plus rated rare player. Now, I don't know if they're going to release this as an SBC. Uh, in my opinion, I think they're going to release that. This pack is going to be available as like the foot 20 SBC because, uh, you know, like we've been getting the foot 17, foot 18, foot 19. We've been getting these SBCs throughout this promo. Uh, and today for foot 19, 84 plus rated rare player. I think the foot 20 SBC will come out today and it'll be an 86 plus. That's my hunch. Now, if they make that 86 plus repeatable, that could get really interesting really quick. But um, for this SBC, what is this one going to require? I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't. Maybe an 84 rated squad. That sounds crazy. And that sounds like a big time coin stuck off the market. Uh, maybe an 83 rated squad or an 84 rated squad for an 86 plus player. Um, and I guarantee you that SBC is going to be heavily, heavily weighted towards 86s and 87s, which is still, uh, you know, you're getting an 87 rated player. That's 30,000 coins worth of value in an untradeable or 20, 25,000 coins worth of value in a uh, untradeable 86, which then people are probably going to go turn in for the guaranteed but the birthday shapeshifters or winter refresh player. So basically what we saw earlier this week or what, what day was that SBC come out? Did that SBC come out on like uh, Monday or, or Tuesday or something like that? Whenever the first party bag came out, we're basically going to be looking at the exact same things that we looked at then. Uh, we're going to be looking at today and you've already seen this. This happened with the team of the week SBC as well. I want to show you guys the market impact since this SBC has been put out into the code. This is ridiculous, man. This is so crazy that there's I mean, this is smart, right? If you're getting in right away, a lot of people are smart with this. Uh, but the amount that these cards have just risen in the past couple of hours is ridiculous. The index 86, which is an index of all the 86 rated cards on this game, um, 139 points before the SBC uh, code is put out uh, on Twitter and it's released publicly. Boom, we're all the way up to 100, a 43% increase in literally an hour and a half, two hours. Ridiculously crazy uh, let's look at some of these eight, uh, 86 rated players timo verner twenty four thousand coins at the moment is that even correct it was updated 37 minutes ago he's probably even higher now he was 17k earlier today man the reward supply this dude was 16k he's already back to 24 um you know is this guy gonna go higher technically when the when the 
the SBC came out, looks like it came out on Monday. Uh, these guys were higher than 25K, which is what the graph shows. This, if you bought cards, if you bought high rated players tonight before the SBC, um, I would be very careful with them. I would sell in the first hour, the first hour that that SBC is released. I would either take, I would take the coins before the SBC is released or sell in the first hour because we saw that happen with the index 83s and the guaranteed team of the week pack is that the, you made the most coins if you actually sold in the hype, which is selling before the SBC comes out, you made the most coins there. Uh, so basically, I think this is the 83s after rewards today, basically. Yeah, so they boomed after rewards, which is crazy. Um, with the S Maybe the SBCs that came out today helped that a little bit. But the Team of Week SBC, um, this is how the 83s looked as well. They went up, the SBC came, they went up a little bit more, and then they dropped down after that. So if you bought high-rated players, I mean, again, you're looking at some of these prices. Sterling is 42,000 coins right now. Um, he was 45k, it looks like, for the first SBC earlier this week. What was he on Wednesday? Wednesday, he was 44, 45k all day, and then started to drop after that. So, um, if you bought cards tonight, again, if you bought some high-rated cards on the market, uh, or maybe even in some informs, I would consider getting those out, um, either in the hype, or getting them out right after the SBC drops. That's kind of your your options in my opinion because these cards have risen up so much already and it's a lot of investors that are buying these up. Yes, there's a lot of hype for these cards uh, because you know this SBC is a big one, right? Getting the, po the possibility of getting a guaranteed foot birthday player from either set one or set two, that's huge, right? That's huge. The possibilities here for an Mbappe, for a Hazard, for a Griezmann, uh, St. Maximin, Hernandez, you know, a lot of big possibilities, but this is what I want you to remember. Who did you pack and who did you see people packing from the first set, right? A lot of us guys packed. I packed Shapeshifter Mares, right? Which that was actually a dub, 355K for this card. Um, you know, a lot of people packed this guy, Hate, Hate Bauer, Nandez, Canes, uh, Renato Sanchez, right? Or some of you guys got Winter Refreshes. I saw a lot of people pack Erickson, oddly enough. Cornette, she has like... You know, the odds are that you're probably going to pack one of these guys. So again, this is another opportunity for us to watch the panic selling on some of these cards, right? Watch these cards, see if they get panic sold. This Areola is actually down. He was over 100k today, I think. Uh, yeah, he was right at 100,000 coins earlier today. Not really down that much, 90k. But watch the panic selling on some of these cards. They've risen already after rewards. And again, this is basically... Whatever happened with the first party bag SBC, we're going to be watching that same uh, panic sell again. I think it was either Sunday or Monday. I think it was, I think it was actually Sunday uh, when that, that SBC came out. Yeah, it was Sunday um, when that SBC came out the first time. So again, just watch the panic sell on some of these. Remember which ones are hype because those are the ones that are going to rebound the most. And of course, the ones that have the best links, the most meta, those are going to be, wow, this Conte is 783. These, uh, the shapeshifter cards are crazy rare anyways. Uh, but if you're somebody who wants to buy a foot birthday two card, I know I was talking to you guys today about the buy time for these was probably right before rewards or, um, you know, right after rewards. This is going to be another opportunity if you didn't buy to possibly get in on a, one of these guys for your team, right? If you see Lacazette down below 1.05 mil, because these guys are going to be going out of packs again today at 6 PM UK. Um, but they'll be available in that SBC. I still think a lot of these guys have potential to rise up. Uh, Douglas Costa was like 540K at his lowest last night, and I think he had 570 at one point today. Yeah, he definitely did. 570 right here. 578, 572, 573. Now he's back to 555. So again, this morning, as you guys are waking up, as you're wondering what's going to happen today on foot, it doesn't look like we're going to get a new promotion, um, but it does look like we are going to be getting some panic selling on the market because people always panic sell on Fridays to begin with because they just they just magically think a promo is going to appear for some reason. You always see a little bit of a downturn on Fridays, um, but again, if it's a foot birthday card, uh, especially like a Pogba or a Bayo, like... How many people are going to be packing those cards from this guaranteed SBC? <laughs> Just about nobody. Let me tell you. Um, from the, the pack weight that we saw on the first SBC, um, this is going to be a great time to pick up on some of that panic if you do see it. 
Uh, you know, like Da Costa, right? I like Da Costa because he's bounced around a decent amount of price since he has been in packs. Right now, Footbin says he is 209,000 coins, uh, which I think is right around his lowest. Yeah, 208 for Da Costa. Still in packs, possibly some panic selling this morning, right? Take a look at some of a, of a guy like this, right? If you would see him at 100, under 200,000 coins might be my buy situation because he has not been that low. And I do think that he could easily bounce back up uh, to 210, 215, literally hours after the SBC, which is, you know, taking care of your tax on that card. And then, you know, weekend league, people are going to try him out. I think it could hit 225K. And if you want to hold him the extra week, we saw what has happened to the set one of foot birthday cards, um, you know, after they've been out of packs for a week. This is Griezmann card was 1.5 mil, uh, 1.55, 1. like 1.6 mil-ish at the most when he was in packs. Uh, and now the dude is like one, I think he hit 1.75 today at one point. Uh, right now he's 1.7. There's probably a few people selling, getting ready to sell before this uh, this pack could come. And then you have guys like Mbappe as well, man. This, this price right here, if you're somebody who bought for birthday Mbappe, um, I would highly consider taking the coins. And this is something else that I wanted to talk about today because this team of the year, oh my gosh, this card is 5.4 million coins. The best version of Mbappe in FIFA 20 is 500, 400,000 coins less than the five-star weekly version. I know this is crazy. 5.795 million for this card. Uh, bros, I'm serious. If you bought this card, I know the five star weak foot is huge. Um, but we're in this part of the game where yes, this card might stay a decent amount higher, um, for, you know, maybe the next week or two, but this might be a peak for this card is a can, we continually have SBCs that are taking coins off the market and no coins coming onto the market via lightning rounds, via packs being opened, promo packs, etc. So if you got this guy on your team, uh, and let's say you want to, you're already making a million. Some of you guys are making a mil, not a million. Yes. Some of you guys are making a million coins on this card. I know some people that have bought this card for like 4.6, 4.5 million coins. Uh, last week when he was in packs at his very lowest, the dude is now 5.8 mil. All right. I would take the coins. I know that it's, you, you want to use that card. Maybe you've used them for a week. If you want to play with him this weekend league, maybe you play with him for, you know, Friday's games and sell them on Saturday and then, you know, take your coins there and go play with either the team of the year or um, go play with like the 93 inform and save yourself some coins that way. But I think this card is just ridiculously overpriced at the moment. And, you know, I'm a little curious about this one too. I'm a little curious about Alan St. Maximin. The dude is one He's over 1.6. Is he 1.6? This guy is so expensive, man. 1.65 million coins for this card. The hype's going to stay there for a while because 5 star, 5 star is massive. French right now. French is just dominating foot. You know, with the, the Bakiokos and so many French players in this promo, that nationality is dominating FIFA at the moment. Um, so I think it might take his price a little bit longer. Um, I think he'll stay around the 1.5 to 1.6 range for a few weeks. Uh, although I could see, I, I could see the Mbappe dropping down to like a 5.3, 5.2. And I do envision the full birthday and the team of the year kind of staying close-ish in price. And again, we don't know when team of the season is because um, team of the season is going to affect these player prices a lot. And these full birthdays are actually going to be pretty interesting to follow during team of the season because some of these guys are not going to be getting team of the season cards. Paul Pogba is case in point number one. Uh, I don't think, wow, two six, that is cheap. I don't think this guy would be getting a team of the season. Uh, and I think a lot of you would agree that some of these, maybe a bail probably wouldn't get a team of the season. Di Maria could, Lacazette, no. Um, so these guys are probably going to have some panic selling heading into tots. Uh, but then there could be some interesting, you know, trades and, and, uh, I think these cards will retain their value a decent amount just because of the weak foot and the skill move up upgrades, which makes these cards just different. Uh, than any other cards in foot. Saint Maximin, I think he'll main, he'll maintain his price really well too. Uh, but I, that doesn't mean that I don't think Saint Maximin could be back down at like a 1.2 uh, or 1.1 million coins in a couple weeks if we have a big another promo that comes out or if they release Team of the Season or something like that. So again, the most important thing today is this SBC is coming out. Price is already sky high. I do think you'll see some panic selling this morning. If you see panic selling on cards that are not a part of this, uh, and it's a popular inform meta, 
good nation, good league. Uh, for weekend league teams, if you see panic selling at all this morning, uh, that is a buy for me uh, because I do think it will rebound. Again, make sure you calculate tax in there. I mean, you have to see a card drop a decent amount uh, for you to want to pick up on that and then resell it. So watch for panic selling this morning to pick up on some of that panic and sell it Friday later in the night. And then um, if you have bought high rated cards, man, I'm serious. This index 86, it's the highest index we have on Footbin. But this tells the story for me right now, man. And these cards are just going higher in price. Um, these 86s, Marquinhos, 34K, man. I sold Marquinhos this morning. I packed him in my weekend league rewards. I sold him for 25K. I sold him for 25K because I, I had no idea this was, this SBC was coming. Uh, and he's 34. It looks like he went to 47 the last time the SBC came out. So if you want to take a risk there, you know, the center backs and, you know, center backs and probably left mid, right mid, left back, right back. Those always go up the most because of the links that they have. Um, but you know, these cards are going to be flying. So I would say, uh, if you want to take the safe route, a lot of people have invested, but a lot of people want to do these SBCs. So either sell before the SBC comes out or maybe throw the marbles out a little bit more and, um, and sell during the first hour of that SBC. So either sell before or sell on the first hour or two of that party bag SBC coming out in foot. No new promo today, I would think. I mean, it, it, we did get this Nick Pope SBC today, which is fun, right? This is cool. Uh, but other than that, the card is just kind of useless, right? Three-star weak foot, five-star skills. You'll probably see some people try to play him at striker, uh, which is funny, which is cool, right? But, um, you know, the second week of this promo, I think, has just been kind of eh. First week was great, right? Incredible player selection. Team two was solid, but the SBCs in week number two have not lived up to the hype that the first week did. So again, that's kind of foot, that's a wrap for foot birthday boys. This SBC today is kind of going to be a wrap for foot, foot birthday. I don't see any content coming out this week. Maybe we'll get a promo next week. Uh, it is Easter weekend, which, you know, EA picks and chooses which holidays and, and which things they want to, um, you know, do stuff with in FIFA Ultimate Team, uh, but I would expect some sort of like maybe uh, a kit SBC or a pack SBC um, Easter related because that's a pretty popular holiday across the world. I mean, they did something for St. Patrick's Day. They did stuff for Chinese New Year, uh, the Year of the Rat, which is the TIFO that I still rock in game. Shout out to EA for that one. Um, yeah, I would expect a little bit of stuff this weekend in SBC or something uh, related to Easter. So just look, be on the lookouts for that. I don't think it'll be a new promo though. Uh, and again, we'll probably see some market rise into the Friday night. Watch the panic this morning, sell your high rateds if you have them. Um, and good luck with your foot party bag SBCs. If you want to try to craft the party bag SBC, I guess you could do a couple of the 80 plus player picks. Um, these give out a lot of 83s and 84s. And then maybe if you snag an 88 or an 89, I've had decent luck with these. Um, you might be able to craft yourself that um, party bag SBC as well as maybe doing this, the foot 18, the foot 19. And if they put out that 86 plus SBC today too, there's a lot of uh, stuff you can SBC wise, you can drain your coins into right now, but the market stays high just because of the amount of people on the game and the amount of coins that were put on the game a couple weeks ago. It's kind of like a, I don't want to compare it to team of the year, but it's kind of created this bubble where we had a big promo. A lot of people are on the game, spending FIFA points, opening packs, market is just high. And now we have all the SBCs trying to drag it down, trying to drain those coins so that people have to, again, put money in a little bit later. So that's my take on what's coming today in foot. Good luck with your party bag SBC polls. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the description. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And you know what? Hit, the, hit this video with a thumbs up while you're at it too. You know what I'm saying? Hit the video with a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys later. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Peace out.